Hello and welcome to the Ridley Engineering Power Supply Design Center here in sunny California, Camarillo. I get a lot of questions about what I view as the most essential pieces of equipment for testing power supplies. So I'm going to show you that today on my test bench. Here as you can see we have a normal looking test bench for doing power supplies. We have a power supplies test board here which is actually a two switch forward converter. Load bank hooked up to that power supply hooked up to the input. And we have what I consider to be the mo two most essential pieces of lab equipment to do the in-depth testing on this system. First one is my LaCroix oscilloscope. And uh, this is the, the, the line from Tele Teledyne LaCroix, they're HDO scopes, which are true 12-bit scopes. And we use this not just as a scope, for testing the power supply waveforms, but also as the central computer for our entire test bench. So we want to make sure that whatever computer we use on our bench, we're able to run all the pieces of software that we need to evaluate our power supplies. The, the scope does the time domain waveforms, but when we're doing power supplies, we need to do frequency domain as well. So we have the oscilloscope is running the AP300 frequency response analyzer, that's for measuring transfer functions, for measuring magnetics, inductors, transformer, everything we need to do to make this power supply work properly. And then we need our software working. So our main piece of software for designing is Power 456 simulation, design, and measurement environment. Everybody that comes to one of our workshops gets a copy of this program to take back with them to speed up their design. We also like to have LT Spice loaded. LT Spice is a very generic simulation package that lets you put in your very specific devices and do much more detailed simulation for design validation. This is very important when you're doing a real product design that everybody can look at the simulation results and make sure they're happy with the way the system is working. We use pads to do our design layout for power supplies. And I like to have this again working alongside all the other pieces of software so you can pull up schematics, you can look at difficulties with layouts that you might be running into, and you can check in a very interactive, quick way to go fix the layout problems as you find them when you're doing debug. And the last thing I use, which is surprising to some people, is I use Microsoft Word. I want this up and running on my scope so I can document my progress as I go through in a very, very quick way and we'll show you how we implement that on our testing here. So let's get outside of uh, PowerPoint here, and we'll show you all these programs running at once on our single computer. So here are our waveforms. You can see four waveforms. We have the gate drive of a two switch forward. This is the drain voltage of the primary FET. This is the diode voltage on the secondary side. And this is the output voltage, and some of you will recognize the ringing that we're seeing on here. So our scope is busy running right now. It's actively triggering on the gate drive waveform, collecting waveforms at 12 bits, ready for us to dig into and look at and try to find the problems. At the same time that the scope is running, we, it's, the computer in there is also running the AP300 frequency response analyzer, and right now, that's characterizing the primary impedance of the transformer. So we open circuit secondary, and we do a frequency sweep from 10 hertz to 30 megahertz here, and we watch the impedance of that frequency sweep. We're looking for things like the resonant frequency and uh, to, to see where this transformer is going to be usable, and which frequencies. So these two are both running at the same time, and there's no hesitation between the two. We want to make sure that we've got a really good computer on our bench, and that's what we find inside the HDO scope from LaCroix. We're also running our Power 456 design and simulation program. This is the only program in the world that actively designs the power stage for you from the specifications. So when you look at the power stage here, here you see the schematic for a two switch forward. We can pull up the specifications where you enter your input and output voltage that you desire. And from that, the program, which runs incidentally under Excel, 
will design every component of the power stage for you. And here, sitting on the bench, you see the results of this. You can run simulations in here. And here's the output voltage waveform. Here's the startup. Now bear in mind these simulations are running at the same time as the scope is collecting data, at the same time as the AP300 is collecting data on the transformer. And then we have another program. When you're done with your design and simulation inside our Power 456 program, we put, uh, we'll put out a SPICE model for you. So you just click on this little button here, and it launches a SPICE file for you. And then you come into LT SPICE, and then you can simulate that circuit. So here we can see that we're simulating the gate drive waveform and the output voltage waveform of this converter. Simulation is extremely fast in 456. It's slower inside um, SPICE, but of course SPICE lets us simulate much more detailed models. So right now we've got everything going at once. We're running a simulation in LT SPICE. We can run a simulation here in Power 456. And you see how quickly this is running. We're collecting live voltage waveforms and we're collecting live frequency response. All this is done inside the computer of the Teledyne LaCroix HDO scope. So this is running everything for us. And now the one last step here is when we're doing sweeps of frequency, simulation of output voltage, simulation inside LT Spice, or when we're looking at the waveforms themselves. We often want to document what we've done, and we want to do this as quickly as possible. For most people, that means getting a memory stick and plugging it into your scope. But that's too slow for us. I don't like to do that. So you just go highlight the scope, hit alternate, print screen. You go into Word, Control V, and there's your scope waveforms. And you add the text that you need. So always when I'm working, I don't try to work and solve a problem and then document it. I document as I go, and this saves you so much time when you're working. So this combination of the scope, frequency response analyzer, Power 456 software, LT Spy software, I'm not showing the pads here, we don't have it on this particular computer, will get you through the debug process much, much faster than you're used to. So there's a quick overview of what we do. In subsequent videos, we'll be showing you each of these components individually. In a minute while I find my mouse. There's all our different components that we're using on our test bench. And one last thing that we have here that makes testing much easier, especially in this modern age, here we've got an eight channel scope you don't want to look at that on a little screen when you're trying to do debug. We have a 50-inch monitor sitting on our bench here. This makes the process of design and debug go really, really fast because you can see the details and see them quickly. If you want to experience this setup a little closer, come to our design workshops. We use this on every one of our benches, and we'll show you how we go through the power supply design and debug process very rapidly. And you can also get uh, more design information in our Power Supply Design Center at RidleyEngineering.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned to our channel for more videos.